And finally, let's move on to some entertainment news. You probably know Netflix as the service with great shows that get canceled just when you become a fan. <laughs> and also the home of the saddest episodes of Arrested Development ever. <laughs> but right now, some of Netflix's biggest hits are actually imports from other countries. And one of the hottest series on Netflix right now is a reality show that is beloved in Japan, but has Americans a lot more divided. Japanese game shows have never been known for their subtlety, but one new offering on Netflix has jaws dropping. Old Enough is an unscripted series, parents sending their two to five-year-old children to run errands, from grocery shopping, <laughs> to dropping off dry cleaning or squeezing fresh juice. Netflix calling Old Enough the most wholesome show you've ever seen. But the internet isn't convinced. Um, how is abandoning a tiny child to cross a busy road wholesome? It gave me anxiety. Sure, it was cute, but I'm not sure that's great parenting. And while the concept might seem bizarre to Western audiences, the show has been running for 30 seasons in Japan. Japan is very different than the U.S. Neighborhoods are more pedestrian friendly, and the culture is more trusting of kids. In Japan, parents chaperone their 10 and 11-year-olds on just 15% of trips, compared with 65% here. Some parenting experts think American audiences can learn from the show. It's a little nerve-wracking to let your kids go, but when you do, they will just impress you. Or they'll disappoint you. <laughs> there should always be an awe. But yeah, one of Netflix's most popular shows, and easily one of my favorites, is Old Enough, which is all about kids doing things for themselves. And let's be honest, I mean, that's the best kind of kid, you know? It's like having a self-cleaning oven, but it's a child. <laughs> And I agree, I absolutely agree that kids should have more freedom than they do. This American obsession with protecting kids can actually mess with their heads. Like, think about it, parents in America will leash their kids, but then let their dogs run around free. <laughs> your kids should never look at your pets and be like, that lucky bastard. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, man, American parents are overbearing. You won't let your kids walk down the street by themselves, but then inside the house, they just hand them an iPad and ignore them the whole day, huh? Just be like, mommy, will you read to me? No, 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 shh, not now. I'm tweeting about how bad these Japanese parents are. Go on, here, here, take the iPad. Go on YouTube and learn about who rarely did 9-11. Go on, go on. <laughs> I don't get the anxiety people feel watching the show. Yes, these kids are running errands. Yes, but guys, there's a whole camera crew nearby. They're like, they're by themselves. No, there's a camera crew. If something was about to happen that was bad, they'd step in. You know, it's not like a nature documentary where they have to stand by and let the tiger kill the gazelle. And now the windowless van approaches <laughs> and absconds with little Mikey as the sun sets on Main Street. The circle of life is complete. <laughs> All right, that's it for the headlines.